All right, so how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. So I have quite a few favorites here, so I'm just gonna get right into it, starting with some hair product. So now that it's a lot warmer out, um, I've been washing my hair a lot more. Oh, I actually cut off a huge part or like a few inches off the back as well. Cause the first time I had it cut, I just kind of tied it up in two buns and then cut it straight across. Didn't have any layers in the back, but then the other day I was looking on Pinterest and then I came across this photo of Chloe 70 and then another photo of Jan Sossman. So then, um, I grabbed those photos, went down to the hair salon down the street, and then um, she, like she didn't really speak any English, I didn't speak any Spanish really, so we kind of just um, use a lot of body language and some words here and there and also Google Translate, and um, it worked out. So yeah, so she cut layers in and she did a really good job, and it was only like 16 bucks, which is incredible. But then as soon as I got my hair cut, it just felt really good, I've been shampooing it a lot. Um, which is a good and bad thing. So it's a good thing because, I mean, I've been working out a lot, so I've been sweating and just, it gets really gunked up and everything. But then I've also been using a lot of product in my hair um, because I don't like that fresh, clean feeling. The first thing I wanna talk about is apple cider vinegar. So I know this isn't like a very new thing or anything, but I just discovered this. Um, I've been doing this apple cider vinegar rinse um, every once in a while because I'll get flaky from time to time from not washing my hair right after working out or something like that, you know? So, um, I made this apple cider vinegar rinse. That's one part apple cider vinegar, three parts water, and I just put it in a little cup. And then after I shampoo my hair, I'll just um, put it on my scalp and it's instant relief because when before I do that, my scalp is usually inflamed and all flaky and stuff. So as soon as I pour the rinse down, just kind of like massage it in and let it kind of just soak in and everything, it just feels like, if it's like tingly, it feels so clean and I could see all the, afterwards I could see all the product like just, just like disintegrating essentially. So um, if you have like an inflamed scalp or if you have dandruff, definitely try that. Let me know how it works out for you. If you like adjust the levels or adjust the amount of apple cider vinegar, let me know as well too. But moving forward, I kind of stopped using dry shampoo, which is the main cause of the itchiness. So um, I stopped using that, but then I've been using a lot of product too. So I want like a reason to cleanse my hair or really like thoroughly clarify it. Um, the products that I've been using to add grit into my hair after shampooing it so much. I want to add texture back in, right? And I really like the day after feeling where it's a little bit gritty and a little bit um, piecey. So what I've been doing is using this right here, which is the Amica Bushwick Beach Spray. Um, so I'll spray this in my hair when it's wet or a little bit damp. So right when I get out of the shower, I'll do like two squirts here, two squirts there, and then really just scrunch it in there. And then it does this thing where um, I've also been blow drying my hair with a diffuser. Well, not a diffuser. I use a strainer as a diffuser. So I'll just like kind of blow dry my hair um, and it just holds it in place. But the thing is when you sleep on it, it gets all like wonky and stuff, right? So then the next day, if I'm not like washing my hair that day, then I'll use this right here. This is just water um, and it's in a spray bottle that's like really fine and continuous in a way. Um, it's fantastic. I got this from my, this uh, girl who does my, hairstyle, well, she cut my hair and also colored it before. Um, and she does it for, uh, not Lindsay, she does it for Camilla as well, and she does a really good job. When I had longer hair and I wanted um, to kind of like break up the the darkness underneath, because my whites would grow in right here and then it would just kind of like disappear a little bit over here. So then she actually colored it so that it almost blends in, in a way. So she did a really good job and she's fantastic at cutting hair as well. She makes house calls in LA as well. So if you are interested, I'll leave all her information in the down bar. I just haven't had like a chance to schedule an appointment with her or make our schedules align. So um, anyways, the last time she did my hair, she gave me this. I think she said she got it from Sally Beauty Supply. So I'll try to find something similar. Yeah, she gave me this and I've been using it on days where I don't wash my hair where it's not wet. So I'll just like spray it in my hair like this and then spray a couple more squirts of this and then really scrunch it up again and then it keeps its shape. And I like that like whenever I move my part around, it actually stays in place as well. So 
highly recommend this combination but this is fantastic for like that beachy hair look all right so whenever i do my makeup or whenever i'm working out or um whenever i just need my hair out of my face i've been using this right here these are hair clips and they're so cute they're yin yang i really like these because they feel quite a bit more substantial than like a cheaper one that you find at the dollar store and stuff like that breaks constantly. I wore this like a couple weeks ago in a video and a couple of people were asking me about it. So here it is. I found it on Instagram, oddly enough. And then I reached out to her and said, hey, do you have any stockists in LA? And she happened to have stockists in Highland Park. So, um, which is really close to me. So then I went to the, one of the stores and then it was like dust falling everywhere. Um, so I went to the store and um, bought one and then the person who was selling it was like, hey, they actually come in a set. So yeah, yin yang, hair clips, it's great. And whenever I do my makeup, I have it at my makeup table as well. And I kind of just like put my bangs back like this and just clip it up so everything's out of the way. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, and then also if I want like my front to do like a swoosh thing, then I'll just hold it up and just like keep it in place as well. These clips are fantastic. Okay, so I've been wearing a lot more makeup lately because I'm trying to figure out a way to make, like especially on video, make my skin look flawless because I'm doing my cousin's makeup for her wedding in April of next year. So I'm just trying different combinations, wearing a ton of makeup, also wearing a lot of sunscreen too because of summer, obviously. And I've been using this Glossier Cleanser Concentrate to remove everything. And it's so satisfying because as soon as you put two pumps on your hand, Okay, so it says two pumps, but really the two pumps aren't that much. It's like, these are two pumps right here. Um, and then, yeah, it's just really not much at all. And then you add a little bit of water to it. Oops. And then it just lathers up so much like that. It lathers up like crazy. And then I put it all over my face, obviously. And then... Um, it removes everything. Like you could see all the gunk come down the drain, like all your eye makeup, everything. I don't even have to use eye makeup remover or an oil cleanser afterwards. It's just fantastic. And you use very little product, obviously. And it creates this super rich lather. Fantastic. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Oh, and it rinses off super easily and clean. So afterwards, like my face is just super clean and sparkling. And then even if I run a, um, a makeup remover pad over my face, nothing shows up. So waterproof mascara, brow makeup, sunscreen, like everything, it just removes everything. If you are looking for a one and done, one product, super easy to remove, one cleanser, this is it, Jones Road. So I've been getting advertisements for Jones Road on my Instagram like crazy and it's Bobby Brown's company and I have such a soft spot for Bobby Brown. I've been reading her books ever since I was a kid, like checking it out from the library every chance I get, you know? And I actually found a couple copies um, at the thrift store, so I have them here. And I, I just really like flipping through things and I get excited about makeup and beauty. So yeah, as soon as I found out about Jones Road, I was so curious about it and then they actually sent me a whole gift box, but this is the standout item right here. This is the Miracle Balm in the color Tawny, which is like this. And I know it looks like an intense pigment, but... Yes! Yeah, thank you! Okay, so I know it looks really intense in here and it looks like it's gonna be a very pigmented problem and there's like a bit of a reflect too, but it's actually very sheer and it's a little bit buildable, but not, not like crazy. And it just makes you, it gives you this like really natural looking glow and I love it. I've been using it on my, oh, I mean using it right now on my cheeks, on my lips, and on my eyes, I have like some product on top of it on my lips, obviously, but it moisturizes. It's a one and done, works on everything. And I actually even like to rub it into my cuticles after I do ceramics or something like that. You know, something where I'm like really stressing out my hands, like washing the dishes, for instance. Um, yeah, it's a great one and done balm. It is a miracle balm. It works on everything and it smells fantastic. And even though the shade looks intimidating, um, it really blends in and like washes out so you can layer it on. 
um, if you want to. On the subject of lip balm, Natrium came out with a new lip balm. It feels so good. It's made with vegan lanolin and it has this little top like this, like a metal top so it's cooling on your lips. Um, this is the color jam, but again, it also shears out. So this is the color, but it shears out so it's not like so intense. It's kind of like the Miracle Bomb in a way, but a bit thicker. So if you have really dry lips, it's fantastic. For sunglasses, so I got these about a year ago. So there was a store that was selling these glasses, um, which I can't disclose, but um, there's a store in LA, in Silver Lake, that were selling these glasses and the owner of the store lives kind of near my neighborhood and he goes to my coffee shop. So he sources these glasses, these vintage frames, and then puts lenses in it and sells it at his store. And I was waiting, waiting, waiting for a while um, to get my size, but they just kept selling out. So then eventually I'm like, yo, like, come on, just like order it somehow, you know, like just order some because I'll totally buy it. And they were $250, okay? So they're pretty expensive. Um, but then he's like, you know what? They're just um, military standard issue glasses from like the 60s or 70s or something like that. They're really old. Um, this is the packaging for it. But yeah, they're really old like military glasses. And all he does is put in lenses and um, it's just sourcing it is a pain in the ass. So then I did a ton of research and then found someone who sells them. So then I bought one and then put in some lenses. And then my friend Katie really liked them. So then um, I gave it to her and then bought myself another pair. And this is like the biggest size that they have. This is the 52-24. So this is what it looks like. And then this time around, I put in um, flat lenses, as you can see. So they're just zero base flat lenses, green tint, anti-reflective in the inside. Um, yeah, you can put in any lenses that you want, obviously. Just take it to your optician. Take it to any place that can cut lenses and yeah. So it ended up being around $25 to buy the frame itself from Etsy. Um, and then another $35, $40 for the lenses. So like quite a deal in comparison to the store. So then I ran into him at the coffee shop and I showed him, I'm like, hey, see, I made the glasses. And then he was like, yo, let me order 20 off you. So then he ordered them and then, yeah. So it's fantastic. It's just like you have to put in a little bit extra work, but then you end up saving a boatload of money. So, I mean, the markup makes sense because it's, it is a lot of work and then it's a lot of following up and sourcing and stuff. However, if you have the resources, if you know someone who can cut lenses, if you can just source it for yourself and know what size you are, um, I recommend just getting it directly from Etsy and then putting in lenses and you can choose whatever lenses you want and the beauty of that is that if you were to scratch up the lenses It's just another what 35 40 bucks to replace the lenses what rather than getting a whole new frame And that goes for every frame that you have too. if there's a frame that you like um, Whether it be prescription or non-prescription if you need sunglasses Just have the lenses cut if the frame itself is still in good condition. So yeah, I've been wearing these a ton and I just really like it. I like how like creepy they kind of look sometimes when it's reflecting. Um, yeah, this is the biggest size, so um, also know your size. I've been getting really into music again lately because I just haven't listened to new music in a long time. And I know I mentioned this a million times, but on NTS, I have a radio station that is um, that I've saved and I constantly listen to over and over again and it's Mild Life. It's my friend Phil Nisco and Free the Robots. And they had my friends Charlie and Jacob of Le Club, which is a DJ group that I'm in. Um, they had them play on that set and it's just so fantastic. The entire thing is so fun. So it's two hours and it goes through like every different category of music that you could possibly think of. So like, it's not boring at all because it keeps changing. I really like that because when I first started DJing, I always thought, oh, you have to have like a theme night. So it's hip hop night, post-punk night, or um, funk and soul night or whatever, you know, which is great. But I feel like to be a great DJ, you have to hit every category and you have to know your music very well and you have to keep it interesting and kind of like cater to everyone, but also make people learn different things too. So just kind of curate different sounds, you know? So, yeah, I think My Old Life is fantastic because they hit every category. I'll hear a song that's hip-hop followed by Ethiopian jazz, followed by 
trip pop or something like that. So it keeps changing, it keeps things exciting. And um, yeah, so the set list that they have with Le Club or Charlie and Jacob is just fantastic. So I'll share that as well. And it's free to listen to. And while you're there, listen to the other sets from Mild Life as well. I think it's Mild Life or Mild Animals. I'm pretty sure it's Mild Life, but they've changed their names a couple times too. So yeah. You know how most people have Netflix or HBO or Hulu or whatever? So I have a couple subscriptions to, well, Netflix and like Amazon and stuff like that. But the thing is I never thought about paying for a YouTube premium subscription, which is around $13. I wanna say like 12 or $13 a month. And I just never thought about paying for it. The thought just literally never crossed my mind. And then I was getting a lot of commercials and it was just really irritating. I was getting like a lot of weight loss commercials, which I don't even watch weight loss things. I just watch workout videos from time to time. Yeah, it was just bumming me out. And then my friend Camilla was like, yo, I pay for YouTube premium and it's totally worth it because you can watch whatever you want. If you have like a playlist of obscure music, you can just leave it on and um, it doesn't cut through and it doesn't, you know, like throw you off or anything. So she recommended it. This is someone who watches YouTube to a person who's made a career, made a living off of YouTube. Um, so I finally purchased YouTube Premium and it's just fantastic. Definitely recommend it. Cancel all your other subscriptions, just get YouTube Premium, it's so worth it. On the subject of YouTube, I finally hired a new editor and she's been doing such a fantastic job. Her name is Julia and I'll leave all her information in the down bar, but she is just so great, so fast. Um, there are so many times where I mean, I was going through my hard drive from years and years ago. And um, yeah, throughout the years, I've just collected so many videos and collaborations with other people and kind of just just never worked on it, never edited it just because I just didn't have the energy or didn't know where to start. It's kind of overwhelming. So I sent her some stuff and I'm gonna have her work on other things outside of YouTube as well. But I've sent her some stuff and she did such a fantastic job. So. Yeah, such a relief. So I'm gonna be making a lot more videos. I've been making more videos because that stress has been taken off my back, you know? So yeah, I'm so grateful for her. Oh, and I've also invested in new camera equipment as well. I got the um, Blackmagic 6K camera. But the exciting thing is that I've been also investing in like the different um, accessories that you can get for your camera. Um, so small rig. So here, I'll show you it real quick. So this is my Blackmagic camera, right? So there's this thing that's on the outside, the cage right there. It's called a small rig and you can add attachments and um, little swivels and here, all the, the stuff here and there. There's a handlebar on the camera that I'm using right now too. Um, yeah, you can just build it out and make it like a professional camera and just add all the accessories that you want on it and everything kind of stays on it and keeps it locked in. It's really exciting for me because it makes everything a lot more practical too. I have my B camera, which is the one that I'm filming with right now, um, kitted out as well with like a handlebar on the top and like a thing for the mic and a thing for the, um, the monitor to like move around and stuff. And then this one I have, because it's so heavy, I can't really like um, carry a handlebar on it and like wear it comfortably. So I just have like the mic situation and um, this thing for my SSD and the monitor. I've just been really excited about kitting out my my work situation. So um, small rigs. If you look up the camera that you have and then type in small rig afterwards, there are so many different variations of ways that people kit out their cameras. So um, yeah. It's just really exciting to me. Oh, so these overalls right here, it's an overall apron dress that I've been wearing so much lately. And I really like this because, so I have these pants, they're called the Meals pants, um, or the Chef's pants by Meals. And I was wearing that a ton. And then um, I went to DJ at Virtual Normal one day and Sam, the owner of this company, was like, oh, I have something to give you. Um, he gave me this and I've been wearing it so much since because it's got two front pockets, two back pockets, two side pockets. Um, for someone who doesn't like to carry around a purse, me, um, this is just fantastic. So I've been wearing this a ton. The first day that I wore, or the first couple days I wore, I wore it without a shirt underneath. And I think that it looks better with something underneath. So whether it be like a tube top or a bra or this is a swim top, but yeah, I just really like this. It's so comfy and there's so many different ways to style this. I think I'm gonna make uh, what I wear in a week using only this sometime soon. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know and I'll get on it. 
but yeah, I really like this and it's got like an open slit in the back. Oh, and you know what? The reason why I like this so much is because it's kind of like an emotional attachment. When I was in third grade, I had an aunt who bought my sisters and I all the same short overalls. And um, so they're just like regular overalls and the only difference is that there's like a, a bouquet of flowers in the front pocket and we all got different colored flowers, but they were all the same colored overalls. But my sisters didn't like the overalls, so they gave them to me. And because overalls are so, like you can be any size really, you know, even though we we're all different ages and different sizes, I was able to wear it because it just fit. Yeah, so then I went through a period where I wore those overalls in rotation, so it's three sets in rotation for like months and months, and then one day, um, someone i mean being in third grade you know someone was like you wear the same stuff every day and i'm like no i don't it's like different flowers obviously you know i wash them and everything and i remember just like defending myself and then just being like you know what i need to like switch it up from time to time it just reminds me of that because i've been wearing this every day and it's just really easy and i don't really have to think about it i just have to throw a shirt on underneath and maybe some accessories actually i think maddie is going to or already purchased a pair but yeah she was talking about it like she kept asking me like oh what size did you get what color like what color do you think like all the stuff do you think they have it in like a confetti color and all this stuff um but yeah she was asking me a lot about it so i think she either already bought it or is going to buy it last thing i want to talk about it's also on the subject of food is this right here so this is the color taro it's the east fork coop bowl so or would you call this a bowl or a plate because it's pretty big it's like 12 inches 12 ish inches and it kind of swoops up so you can use this for salads you can use this for serving you can use this for pasta um yeah as soon as i got this i just haven't really used anything else as soon as i wash it i'll use it again and again so yeah i really like this and the color is beautiful and food looks really good off of this plate as well i know i do ceramics and i know that i should be making my own bowls and stuff but this is really hard to make like it takes a lot of like ab workouts to be able to make something this perfect so i really like this and i kind of want to get all the other colors too yeah it's a fantastic like if you have a small kitchen and you can only have like a couple plates i would get this because it works as a plate and it works as a bowl so yeah, shallow bowls. All right, I think that's everything. If you guys have any questions, any recommendations, anything you wanna share with me, um, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.